You know, when you have low vision, one of the things that really can hinder you is eye strain because maybe you're looking at magnified items all the time, you're getting really close to screens and books and stuff like that, and eye strain can be a really big problem. What's up VIPs, welcome to my channel, and you know, whenever you're trying to focus all the time and your eyes having difficulty with it, depending on what's wrong with your vision, you know, whether it's your optic nerve or the eye itself, a lot of different factors can come into play, but that can cause eye strain or eye fatigue, maybe is a good way to say it, which can lead to headaches and just a general feeling of like, oh, I don't want to do this. But, you know, there are some ways to kind of not necessarily avoid it altogether, but some ways to kind of help alleviate the eye strain just a little bit. By the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Derek and I help people just like you to discover life after sight loss. I create new content each and every week, so if that sounds good to you, I'd love for you to consider subscribing to my channel, and while you're at it, hit that little bell icon so that you can get notified when I release new videos each and every week. You know, everybody deals with eye strain. When, when you were growing up, your mom probably said, don't sit too close to the TV because, you know, your eyes will go bad. Or, you know, make sure that you don't cross your eyes because they'll get stuck like that. All those little things. We have eye fatigue and it just happens, especially in our world with tons of screens that we're looking at, phones, tablets, computers all day long. We have eye fatigue and that's normal. But it's especially true for those of us who have low vision when our eyes are trying to focus and trying to see as much as possible with the limited amount of sight we have left. So I wanted to give you just a couple of tips on maybe not necessarily avoiding the eye fatigue, but limiting it as much as possible. The first thing I would tell you to do is to use uh, audio as much as possible. Now, obviously, if you're a visual person, if you need to see what you're doing to get it done, that can be a bit challenging, but use a screen reader whenever you can. For example, on my iPhone, I use voiceover all the time, and you know I don't zoom in to see a whole lot, only if I have to, and that helps me avoid looking at the screen. Now, granted, I still look at the screen to kind of get you know a, a cue of where I'm at, but I try to use voiceover as much as possible. Now, I do magnify my desktop, and that causes some eye strain, but use audio whatever you can to help avoid trying to strain to focus on those magnified options. Another good tip is to get plenty of rest. Now, obviously, this depends on your lifestyle and what you're doing, but try to get as much rest as possible. Maybe you can't take a nap every day in the middle of the day, but, you know, go to bed on time, uh, get up at a decent hour, things like that, and right along with rest goes, you know, taking care of yourself. So if your body is healthy, then it gives your eyes that much more of a chance to be healthy as well. Now, again, this isn't going to help you avoid it altogether, but if you can be in good resting order, then your body will say, hey, this is a good thing, and and that way, you know, at least you'll put it down just a little bit. And finally, I just encourage you to close your eyes whenever you can. For example, I was sitting on the couch the other day when we were watching a movie, and I thought, I can't see the screen anyway, so I'll just close my eyes. Luckily, the movie had audio description, so I still knew what was going on, and it just gave me a chance to rest those eyes. Now, be aware, you might fall asleep, as I did during the movie, but that's just part of it. So close your eyes, give yourself a break, even if it's a little weird for you, if you are newly visually impaired and you never close your eyes and you feel like that's weird, just give it a chance and give your eyes a break whenever you can. So that's just a few tips for you guys. Remember that eye strain is probably going to happen and cause that eye fatigue and maybe a headache will come along with it, but just realize it's going to happen and be as prepared as possible for it. And take these few tips and others to help you avoid eye strain and eye fatigue as much as you can. All right, guys, now it is your turn. You've heard me talk for a little bit. Now I want to hear from you. My question for you today is this. What is something that you do to help avoid or at least alleviate some of that eye strain and eye fatigue that you have in your life? Is it something I mentioned or something else? I'd love to hear about it and I know others would as well. So let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with somebody that you know, and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss another single video. Thanks so much for watching and until next time remember that sight loss isn't the end it's just the beginning my name is Derek from lifeaftersightloss.com and I'll see you in the next one